In this video, we're going to take a look at how to manage our projects with GitHub projects. Now, there are a lot of different project management software options out there, several of which I take a look at in a series of other videos. Well, we know one nice thing about GitHub is it ends up being a kind of a central source of truth for many things that we're going to do in our application lifecycle. So it makes a lot of sense that we would be able to coordinate our projects there as well. And indeed we can, and there are several different flexible options that we can choose. To get started, let's go to our GitHub repository and choose projects. And then I'm going to choose new project. Now project, I tend to think about like an epic. So a, a project would be a, a function or a feature that a user will understand. And then we can add tasks to that project. So if you're thinking of a something like JIRA or something like that, a project to me is an epic. There are other ways that you can do this as well. Uh, some other things that we'll explore a bit into the future is that projects we can not give dates to and just say, okay, we'll take a look at one sprint at a time, or we can go ahead and give dates to them. Uh, we can also associate them with milestones, where a milestone oftentimes would be a release. But nonetheless, we get started with our project and we notice that there are three different views, table, board, and roadmap. There are three different views in GitHub projects, table, board, and roadmap. What's nice is that these are just three different ways of looking at the same set of data, so they work well together. Let's take a look. This is nudging us to start with the table view. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll, we'll give it, as I say, an epic will tend to be a feature. Uh, so let's give it a name that a user will understand, something like create specimen. So create specimen, edit specimen, manage specimen. These are functional words that talk about a feature we can add to our application. And notice, just like we'd see in Epic and other Scrum-based tools, uh, notice that when we go into the table view, it allows us to add more specific tasks here. And these tasks would tend to be the technical tasks uh, that you would see. These are things that we would talk through in a backlog refinement, in a sprint planning. We might give them story points or relative complexity. Uh, but these are effectively the more technical tasks like create database, create API, so on and so forth that we'll need to do uh, to manage our project. Now, to give kind of a point of reference, I'm going to model this off of a similar project I set up in Jira with create specimen as an epic, and then several technical tasks underneath that, create specimen data class, create specimen UI screen, so on and so forth. So this is our create specimen uh, epic, and now we simply hit the plus here, and I can say create specimen data class. Notice there's a place for assignees and the like. Now one interesting thing is that when we create it, it, it GitHub kind of says, okay, uh, what do I do with this? And I'm going to go ahead and say convert to issue. And I will pick a uh, repository for the issue to be in. That's going to give me a whole bunch of other options like the ability to uh, say it's to do, the ability to give it a milestone, an assignee. Uh, I can assign it to me. And then naturally what we'll do at this point, uh, because we've gone from epic level or feature level down to a technical tasks, many times what we'll do at this point is meet with our tech leads and we will work out the details of this ticket and we'll put those details in here. Uh, so say uh, create a data class DTO that models this specimen and add a comment. And um, labels, milestones, these are all other things that we're going to find are going to be very handy. So effectively, we end up doing this for each of those technical tasks that will elaborate our story. I'm going to pause the video for a moment and I will add each of these individual tasks here like I have in my JIRA project. I'll add them over here to my GitHub project as well. And there we have it. So you notice in this table view, it's really easy to edit multiple columns at once. Now this project only has me as somebody working on it, but normally we can just click down here and assign assignees right here in this table. We could also change the status in this table. So uh, create UI screen, maybe we'll make mark that from to do to in progress. And we could add other columns here as well. I noticed a couple things about this. Um, first of all, we have a little drop down here, which gives us options for layout, table, 
which we're on right now, uh, board, which we'll see in just a moment, and roadmap. And then we have some other uh, configuration options we have here, like the fields that we show, the group by, the support, uh, the, the sort by, so on and so forth. And really, that ability to have different views of the same data is a really neat feature of GitHub projects because you're looking at the same data each time just a different way uh, for potentially a different audience. And you can have multiple of these views simultaneously. So I can choose new view and I can choose board. And this will give us a uh, very much like a traditional scrum board with the ability to drag and drop as we often do. Now I could do another and uh, the filter up here, take a look at that. That's really handy. Uh, so if you want to filter by a certain uh, text that's in there or maybe an assignee, that can make stand up go really quickly uh, where you just filter by the assignee and then each time it's somebody's turn, you filter by that person and uh, you, that person can, you know, oh, I see what I worked on yesterday. Sometimes in stand-up, no matter how well we prepare when it comes to your turn uh, to talk about what you worked on, you kind of get brain freeze. So uh, it's helpful to have a quick reference of what you did there. Uh, so that's the, uh, that is the, the board view. And uh, we can configure this. We can add more columns. We can even automate it with a workflow, which we'll see in a separate video. Now, another view that we can have here is roadmap view. Roadmap view is uh, uh, similar to what we would see in JIRA called Timeline View. And it shows kind of a sequence of these epics or what's prerequisite, uh, what has to come in the future, so on and so forth. So it can kind of give you an idea of how you want to lay out your work and what's really achievable in a certain time period. 